what's up everyone this is mini and today i'm coming at you with my build for the tier 7 premium japanese cruiser the maya now before we get into this quick reminder one i got this ship from wargaming for the purpose of testing and review as a cc two don't forget to hit that like button on the video make sure to leave me a comment and make sure to hit subscribe on the channel help me keep making this great content so let's talk about the Maya. The Maya is, as I said, a tier seven premium Japanese cruiser, boasting 203 millimeter guns and a 16 and a half second reload time, along with 3000 max damage on the HE with a 34 armor pen and 4,700 max damage on the AP. Also comes equipped with torpedoes, a four x four set of them with an eight kilometer range and 76 knot speed, as well as a decent AA defense suite and 11.2 conceal once you add captain skills this ship is fun for tier 7 it definitely has a niche and it'll be intriguing to see how it gets used just if you haven't seen it here's the armor layout real quickly you got that little bit of armor belt one of the areas you will have to be careful obviously is you can get slapped on the side but this thing will pack a punch right back at anything let's talk though about how i build this and why i build this so we're going to start with captain skills. Assuming you have a 21 point captain, I build it like this. Your first point's going to want to go to last stand. I found that you can get your engine knocked out a fair bit as well as your steering gears. So you want to make sure that with that happening, you're still able to move so you don't get caught like a sitting duck. At the tier two skills, at the two point skills, I take demolition expert because I like the extra fire chance which does help bring this up to a 20% fire. I've seen some people say they'd rather take priority target. That really becomes a choice for you. Do you think priority target's more useful or do you think demolition expert is more useful? Either of them can work. It's a call that you have to make on which one you think is worth more because those are the only two point skills you're gonna take. At tier three, I like to take adrenaline rush. I like to take the superintendent to have the extra skills and even though it's not rec recommended survivability expert is really nice for that extra health give this thing as much ability to survive as possible plus the heal means that this thing can really do some damage at top tier tier four you're going to want to take the top grade gunner not because you care about the secondary battery reload time but having the eight percent main battery reload uh, reduction is really critical on this ship you're sitting on a 16 and a half second base reload so taking off almost uh one and a half seconds is a nice feeling to this ship finally you're going to want to take concealment expert to get that concealment down to the 11.2 kilometers that i talked about and then with your remaining point i like to take grease the gears to increase my battery traverse speed this means that we're getting a 26.1 second 180 degree turn time now if you decide that you don't want top grade gunner because you say the 1.5, 1.55 second reduction when there's a ship in your standard detection range isn't worth it, then I would say take the priority target along with the consumable specialist and a gun feeder. But I prefer having this. I really don't see the use in HE and SAP shells and getting your detectability raised up at all. Next up, in the equipment section. For slot one, I recommend main armaments modification one, make sure that your main battery and your torpedo tubes are being protected as much as possible. Slot two, use some options. I'm taking hydroacoustic search because this is increasing my search time by 20%, which is nice, plus the fact that you can bump it by another 30% uh, with the flag makes it really nice. If you don't want to take those, engine room protection is my recommendation for that don't see the use in the defensive AA suite being added. In the third slot, I like to take the aiming systems mod one. You wanna make sure that your shells with the long reload time are as accurate as possible. And the bonus, the torpedo tube traverse speed is a nice little touch. And then in slot number four, I like to take prop mod, be able to speed juke more effectively. Steering gears mod one can be taken, but I find prop mod to be worth it more. Down in consumables, I'm also taking hydro acoustic search over the defensive AA fire increase. With the flags and such I'm taking, I've got my hydroacoustic search up to 132 seconds action time with just under two minutes reload time. And it's a five kilometer ship detection and three and a half kilometer torpedo detection. So it is a nice hydro, especially at tier five. Finally, talking about 
your flags and signals and camos. For your signals, here's what I recommend. You want to take November Echo because you do have that nice AA suite, get that boost. Then you want to take India X-Ray, Juliet Whiskey, and Victor Lima because all of these combined give you that nice bonus to your torps and to your fire chance on your main guns. Careful with Juliet Whiskey because you do get the 5% increased chance of detonating, but you can either remove one of the flags I recommend and throw on Juliet Charlie, or remove that one if you don't think you're going to be using your torps that much. Down on the second row, I like to have the ship's consumables getting back quicker, so you want November Foxtrot. Always get the extra speed with the Sierra Mike. You're going to have the ability to get yourself up to 37 and a third knots, which is insane to me. And then I like India Delta for the extra HP recovered. And finally, Sierra Bravo, because you want to have that longer action time on your hydroacoustic search. Economic flag and special flags, it is up to you. But with the upcoming change to how camo versus um, economic boosts work, there's not worth putting them on right now. I think it's better to save them. And then in flags, take any that give you the boost. And finally, in camouflage, I really like the standard camo it comes with. The Japanese lacquer is a really nice camo, and I plan to use this even once the camo has been detached from economic boosts. But if you don't like it, you can always go with these tier 10, just the black or blue. Either one is up to you. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like the video. Tell me what you think about Maya in the comments. And have a great day. This is Minnie, signing off.